The nation has changed from being a predominantly agrarian economy to a major player in industry and technology since the late 1970s. Economic reforms, foreign investment, and a strong export-focused strategy propelled this shift. But in spite of these achievements, China is currently dealing with a number of issues that is plummeting its economic growth. How much might this decline cost? Let's dive into it. Before we proceed, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon in order to stay connected. You can support for free by sharing our content to a wider audience and don't forget to drop your thoughts and opinion in the comments section below. Moving forward, China's economy grew significantly in 2010, demonstrating its rise to prominence as a major player in the world economy. A strong increase in GDP was observed during this time, which was fueled by a mix of national trade policy, global trade dynamics, and calculated investments. China has experienced nothing short of remarkable economic growth. Studying the structural and cyclical elements that affect China's economic performance is necessary to comprehend the causes of the nation's economic downturn. China has become a major economic power as a result of its explosive economic growth over the last few decades, which has defined the global economy. The over-reliance on debt to drive expansion is one of the main causes of China's economic downturn. China has implemented strong fiscal and monetary measures in order to maintain its economic progress after the global financial crisis of 2008. Using this strategy, the public and private sectors borrowed a large amount of money to fund investments in real estate, infrastructure, and other areas. Although this tactic originally boosted economic growth, it has resulted in a significant debt accumulation. Excessive debt can impede economic growth by raising default risks, decreasing creditworthiness, and perhaps triggering financial crisis. The demographic trends in China also provide a big obstacle. Because of the long-term consequences of the one-child policy, which was in place from 1979 to 2015, the nation's population is aging. Despite the policy's relaxation, the labor market and economic productivity are currently being impacted by the population's demographic change toward an older age. Aging populations can result in lower consumer spending, a declining labor force, and higher social welfare expenditures. These elements may limit economic expansion and put the government under financial hardship. Furthermore, China might find it more difficult to maintain its current rates of economic growth as a result of the decline in the working age population. A substantial presence of state-owned businesses SOEs, in vital industries including banking, energy, and telecommunications contributes to China's economic downturn. Even though state-owned businesses have contributed to economic growth, complaints about their inefficiency and lack of competitiveness are mounting. Due to their inefficiency, state-owned businesses may misallocate resources, produce less, and have slower economic growth. China's economic model has long been predicated on large investment and development driven by exports. But as the economy becomes older, a more consumption-driven paradigm must be adopted. Making this shift is essential to attaining sustainable growth and lowering reliance on outside demand. Increasing household income, enhancing social welfare programs, and promoting domestic consumption are all part of the process of shifting the economy back toward consumption. The shift from low-end manufacturing to high-tech and high-value industries necessitates significant expenditures in education, innovation, and research and development, or R&D. External trade disputes have affected China's economic performance, especially those involving large economies such as the United States. China's export-lit economic model was interrupted by tariffs and trade restrictions resulting from the trade war that started in 2018. Tariffs imposed on Chinese goods resulted in lower market access and higher prices for exporters. China's entry into the international economy will not be easy given that other nations have differing trade and economic policies. For China, adjusting to these developments while preserving export competitiveness is a big task. China export demand may decline if global economic growth slows down, especially in important markets like the US and the EU. China's growth prospects may be impacted by trade and investment variations. There have been calls for more sustainable development methods as a result of growing public and governmental awareness of the environmental costs of economic growth. Regional differences and social inequality are still major problems in China. The issue of income inequality persists between urban and rural communities, posing a threat to social stability and economic unity. China has responded to economic difficulties by enacting a number of policy measures meant to stabilize growth and deal with structural problems. These include measures to encourage innovation and technological growth, decrease overcapacity, and alter financial regulations. 
The administration has also prioritized raising domestic consumption and enhancing social assistance programs. Although there has been some success with these approaches, the implementation of policy responses and their capacity to address structural issues at their root will determine how effective they are. China's economic strategy will therefore need to concentrate on balance and sustainable growth in the future. This entails tackling social and environmental issues, improving technological capabilities, and diversifying the economy. China's long-term prospects will largely depend on its capacity to retain economic resilience and adjust to shifting global dynamics. China's economy's future rests on its capacity to control risks, adjust to changing circumstances, and follow an inclusive and balanced growth model. Growth expectations and demographic shifts will interact in a complex way to define China's economic trajectory in the next years. China is the most populous nation and has the second largest economy in the world. Therefore, economists, policymakers, and investors throughout the world are very interested in its potential for future growth. But as 2025 draws near, a number of variables, such as domestic difficulties, international economic conditions, and economic policy are likely to affect the nation's growth trajectory. China's development prospects by 2025 will be significantly shaped by its economic policies. A shift from an investment-driven model to one that prioritizes innovation, consumption, and high-quality growth has been highlighted by the Chinese government. The core of this perspective is the dual circulation strategy, which seeks to increase domestic consumption while maintaining openness to foreign trade. Reducing dependence on outside demand and addressing imbalances are the goals of this technique. Reforms to the structure are also essential. These include enhancing the stability of the financial system, promoting industrial upgrading, and encouraging innovation through higher R&D spending. Future growth is anticipated to be driven by the government's focus on digital transformation, green technology, and high-tech sectors. Achieving success in these areas could boost competitiveness and productivity, which would support economic growth. The state of the world economy will also have an impact on China's growth projections for 2025. China's export-oriented sectors will be impacted by the global demand, trade relations, and geopolitical concerns in the worldwide economic climate. China's economic performance may be impacted by ongoing trade no compliance, such as those with the United States and changes in the dynamics of global commerce. International supply chain modifications and the post-pandemic global economic recovery will also be factors. Independent demographers are a great resource for learning about how China's government policies affect the country's demographics. The necessity for deliberate and efficient policy responses is highlighted by the legacy of the one-child policy, the present issues associated with aging and declining birth rates, and regional differences. Demographers' recommendations place a strong emphasis on the necessity of comprehensive family assistance laws, social and economic changes, and approaches to correct regional disparities. It will be essential to comprehend these diverse viewpoints as China navigates its demographic issues in order to design policies that guarantee social stability and sustain progress. China's economy and society will be shaped in the future by the interaction of demographic trends and governmental policies. And that concludes this chapter. You can support for free by sharing our content to a wider audience and don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, kindly remember to like, subscribe, share, and turn on the bell notification icon in order to stay connected. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.